Hey, what's up? It's uh, Pizza Loving Nerd here. Um, today I'm gonna be doing my review on Elementary OS. So, right after this, I'm gonna install the new Ubuntu. So I'm on Elementary OS 5.0, and let's talk about the desktop. So I like the inner, I like the way the desktop set up. I'm a huge Mac OS fan, um, and I just like the overall interface. I like the multitasking switcher view thing. Um, so if I could move a program over here if I want to. And then add another one by moving a program over here. And I can, uh, still, I, I like the way the multitasking view is. Um, I like the menu right here. Um, and I like how it has a unified user experience. So, like, if I open up the App Center code, the calculator, the calendar, not the calculator. Um, if I open files, Epiphany, that, that's not Epiphany. Um, there. Um, it all looks, um, that's my website I'm working on. Yeah, I know, Chrome. Um, but it all has a unified, um, user experience, so they all look similar. All of the stuff is in the title bar. Um, and it just works nicely. So, um, I like how all of the interfaces are very similar. However, some stuff, like the Epiphany browser, for example, the t it's kind of hard to figure out which tab you're on. Um, I am on Adapta, which is a different GDK theme than the default one. But um, if I open up Settings, the Tweaks, um, and I switch it to the elementary theme, I think it's the dark mode, but um, hold on, undo that. On. One second. Let me just put everything back to normal. I have a on. Um, alright, I just put it to its normal default layout. Um, if any, here it is. But it's kind of hard to see what tab you're on. There is a drop shadow, but it's kind of like older Mac OS, sort of, which I don't really like. Um, this is a straight Safari rip off, the, rip off though, which I noticed. So, yeah. Um, I might do a video on how to make elementary OS look like Mac OS, but um, I might not. So, yeah. Um, it's a straight Safari rip off. Um, but um, I, I still really do like some of the. Um, themes and one thing is the software center to keep the unified user experience if you search something like screen recorder It has the elementary curated apps up here. So this is the official elementary screencast tool and Then the non curated app so the software center supports both one thing I don't like about the software center is it tries to get you to pay for stuff for example if you wanted to check out melody um, which is some music player. Um, what? This looks nice. So let's say you think this looks nice. You could pay three dollars, but you can also hit um, zero right there and you know get end up putting it to zero dollars and then get it. Um, so while you can do that, that's a solution to my problem. It gets annoying because you have to do that for every single app that's paid, unless you of course want to pay for it. But but. The curated apps all follow the standard elementary OS user experience, and I like that about it. This is not the album art for Vampire Weekend, I'm just going to say. But, uh, whatever. Um, I can set new cover art anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Here we go. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, um is um pretty nice yeah this is what this is my new favorite music player i thought lollipop was good but this is great um i really like this music player <laughs> yeah i just that's cool um anyways uh yeah um so all has a unified user experience and there's tons of elementary os apps made by the developers so if you go to the accessories, there's some right here. 
a lot right here for accessories. There's um, some office apps. Um, yeah, the nice markdown editor. Um, I just really like the interfaces for these. Um, these are all really nice looking interfaces. System apps right here. Snaptastic, a Snap Software Center. Let's check that out. That looks cool. Um, now, but the bad side of the desktop is if you noticed on Adapta, the applications was like almost inside the magnifying glass when I was on Adapta. If you want to see it, you can rewind the video. Or, um, and, uh, oh, this is cool. Aliasing. Um, what? And uh, also, uh, there, Snaptastic is done. We can look at it now. Um, it's for opening Snap files, apparently. Interesting. Um, now, um, also, if I cannot get system indicators to work. I have Discord right here, but uh, it's not showing up in the system indicator, so... Yeah, that's sort of an issue. Um, but other than that, the desktop is really nice. Now, um, there are some stupid things. Like, for example, if I go into terminal, PPAs aren't available. This is a really nice terminal emulator, in my opinion, by the way. But PPAs are not available by default. You have to install software properties or something to get PPAs. And you also can't install dev files by default unless you go into the software center and download, um, you have to download Eddy, which is a elementary tool for installing dev files, which is pretty nice looking. Um, but I actually think this is a really nice distro. Um, and at first I had trouble with it. Um, at first, I was getting constant crashes because I installed this distro the day it came out. I was getting constant crashes and stuff, but then, then, um, but then I actually updated the distro, and it fixed a lot of my issues. So, um, that that was pretty nice of it actually. And also, um, I just really like the overall user experience of this distro. I like the unified interface. If you're willing to. Yeah, it is it isn't very customizable, but it's supposed to be like Mac. If you're if you install the tweak tool, it you really get all the customization you would want with a MacBook interface. So it's like Mac OS, except you can change your GDK theme, change your icons, um get high contrast icons. Boy, that looks ugly. <laughs> um Yeah, I, I like it. So um my review on elementary os it's good um if you like mac stuff and i do like mac stuff but for if you don't like mac stuff it wouldn't be the best so um it's a pretty good distro in my opinion um so yeah i actually i was surprised that i like it so much i thought i was gonna hate it but it's actually pretty nice and i might install this on another system and use it as my main system so yeah anyways thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video